I'm Ryan Cleveland, Multiplayer Design Director, and here's four things you need to know about Escalation in Gears 5. We set out to deliver the deepest competitive Gears experience ever. Escalation now has a wealth of new strategic options. It has increased reliance on teamwork. There are more consequences to every action and every life matters. Escalation in Gears 5 is the most intense competitive mode to date. Whether you're sweating on the sticks or watching others play. In Escalation, two teams of five players battle to control three rings. Each ring your team holds earns you one point per second towards the round winning goal of 250. Hold three rings at once and you win an instant domination victory. After every round, new weapons are placed on the battlefield and player respawn times get shorter. Gears 5 introduces limited respawns for each player on the battlefield, a life system that radically changes the way that you play the game. Each player starts with a reserve of five lives to take into battle. Each time you die, you can choose to spend a life to rejoin the fight, running out of lives, and you can't respawn back into the round to help your team. With only one life added at the end of each round, and five at halftime, every respawn is now a critical decision about risk versus reward. Lives bring new strategies like hunting down players with low respawn pools, or forcing the enemy team to burn lives to gain an advantage later. Knowing when to save respawns will make or break your chances for victory. Escalation 2 brings you a new way to win. Like a 3-cap, completely eliminate the other team from the battlefield and you'll instantly win. The new overhauled weapon selection system provides more options to express your strategy. After each round, both teams are able to change the fight by choosing to place a weapon. Upgrade one, activate a new loadout option, or disable an enemy weapon for three rounds. Weapons can be placed on the neutral center line or on a pickup location closer to your home spawn. Your first pick on a home side placement starts with either a flash or a smoke grenade. With further weapon picks, you upgrade the flash or smokes into better weapons, each building towards different weapons. The more powerful the weapon, the more picks you need to spend. Your picks can enhance your strengths, but also they advertise your weakness. With enough picks, home placements can be upgraded to power weapons like the drop shot or boom shot, but with longer spawns and less ammo than the center line. On the center line, any weapon can be placed into any empty slot. Most weapons will start with less ammo than in Gears 4 when placed, but can then be upgraded with faster respawn times or more ammo with further picks. Now, your spawn position really matters. The new spawn formation starts with the front three spawns much further forward, while the back two are the only players who start with smoke or flash grenades. If you want to arm any of your front three players with support grenades, you'll need to spend picks. As more weapons are placed, the action only escalates. Respawn times now start at 16 seconds and decrease by one second after every round until the half. The more rounds you play, the faster players can get back into the fight. With so many different ways to spend your weapon picks between rounds, the breadth of options, counterplays, and strategies are massively expanded. Be prepared to adapt. No two matches will ever be the same. Grab some friends, try out some strats, and watch each other's backs. See you out there.